Welcome to App Inventor Behind the Scenes. Our first guest is a 14-year-old Californian named Cindy Shao. Cindy won the Best Individual Youth category in the 2022 Appathon for Good with her contribution, Still Fresh. This app is ingenious but simple. You point your camera at barcodes on your food in your refrigerator or your food pantry. You enter the expiration date and the app automatically creates a list ranked by expiration date. But that doesn't mean you have to throw the stuff out. Cindy points out the packages labeled with a best buy date, a sell by date, best before date, use by date, don't mean that the food has gone bad when that date has passed. People throw away good edible food, she says, or toss it down or pour it down the drain when it could be donated to families or people in need nearby. Cindy's app provides a real window for when the food is still good and links you to food banks in your community and people who need it so you can reach out and donate that food. Welcome, Cindy. How did you first learn about expiration date confusion? I never realized this problem until um, I actually thought about the theme. So I noticed that whenever I looked through my fridge or pantry, I discovered um, a lot of unopened foods like dried pasta and cereal at the back of my shelf. And being my initial reaction, I threw them in the trash, seeing that the date has already passed or will come soon. Yeah. But it was until a few months ago that um, I found that the best buy dates were not actually the expiration dates and they actually referred to the quality of the product that it lasted until. And I noticed the remarkable, remarkable amount of food my family threw away from expiration date labeling confusion and um, the still fresh period um, could still be donated to local food banks or people nearby. So I began researching this topic and I started to realize the rising major food waste problem and that we throw away billions of dollars worth of good food due to the confusion of expiration date labeling. And I put together my research to build an app to focus on educating and preventing the action of having consumable, consumable food thrown away or poured down the drain. And I wanted to use a new and innovative approach to create sustainable food communities and help fight world hunger. I've got a bunch of things from my refrigerator, the yogurt and pickles and mayonnaise, and the pickles and the mayonnaise were way out of date. Is your family, well, everybody's family is different. See, our friends will, won't eat anything that is anywhere near the expiration date. And we'll eat it as long as it doesn't actually look weird. Uh, like in, in the continuum of those two uh, poles, where, where does your family stand? Uh, my family usually thinks the same thing, but um, coming to, um, knowing that the best buy dates are not actually the time it expires and that they're still like fine to eat after a period. Um, we kind of become like okay with eating it like a little bit past the expiration date, but not too long. <laughs> there's, there's one field in the, in the app when it's, oh, still fresh after. Um, is that dynamically filled in? Or are you supposed to fill that in? Uh, uh, yourself. The way I coded it was that um, once you scan the item, it will be inside of a category. Like for example, you scan you scan bread, and it'll be inside of like a grains category. That will fill in the still fresh period. Like for example, like two or three months. And usually, if the API and like what I did could find the still fresh period, they will fill it in. And if they can't, based on the item, um, the user will have to input it themselves. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. H how did you get the database of uh, products and their nutrition information and so forth? So I basically uh, found an API um, through the internet and I connected it um, using different components. In, in this, uh, this that's a, a, a nice sophisticated feature to have. Are there other ones in this app? Yeah, so there's APIs that um, allow you to share with um, organizations nearby and to share with people nearby. You, you, um, you did the gut, the gut to brain um, app last year. Uh, yeah. uh, what, what was different about the process last year versus this year? So um, 
Yeah, last year I just learned about MIT App Inventor and I was relatively new to the platform. So um, last year I planned to focus on the well-being of people's gut and brain health. Um, but this year I aim to focus on building sustainable food communities. And yeah, not only was my work different, my design process was also different. Um, last year, I tried to um, make and perfect each screen one at a time, but that caused me to rework um, many screens. But this year, I decided to focus on making the overall screens flow and then adding additional components to make the app more unique, like UI, additional functions, and technology components. And what do you study? Do you study computer science? And in, in, are you in high school? Yeah, I'm a freshman in high school. And do they, do they teach computer science or are you going to take it? Yeah, I'm actually taking um, a Java course inside my school. Oh. And yeah, I also enjoy doing Java inside and outside of school. What do you like about um, putting uh, software together, app, apps together and when, you know, when they finally work and so forth? Uh, um, I feel like rewarded because I can put together a, a a variety of different lines and create something that can potentially benefit others and myself. And I feel that with writing code that can create different apps and different programs, I can also um, use that to like benefits. Is there any app that you really respect or you're like, wow, look at how much that has impacted people? Yeah, so I do remember that um, when the pandemic just started, there was this app that tracked all the COVID cases. And that was, to me was really interesting. And um, that kind of inspired me because I felt like it would really benefit people at the time to become aware that um, where all the cases were and the statistics around the world. And I became really interested in that and <clears throat> that it was, able to benefit like different yeah 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 totally um, anything else you want that you were thinking about would be important to communicate to other app inventors i wanted to tell others that um, i would recommend focusing on using the app as a solution to solve or help current ongoing issues in the world and to also focus on ones that might not seem too obvious but still exist do you have any recipes involving um, hot pickles, mayonnaise? Um, let's see what's on my expired list and yogurt. Uh, you could like combine them all, I guess. You could put the mayonnaise on top of the pickles and the yogurt inside. Yep, yeah, because that's what's going to go bad in my fridge this week. So you're just just a freshman in high school. There's no there's no expectation that you would know your career path, but would you like to be uh, a computer scientist, an industrial designer? Yeah, I'm, um, I hopefully, I want to become a software engineer and yeah, I want to like code different programs and like solve bigger issues and yeah. You probably did a lot of testing with your app. What was the most expired thing in your own family's uh, refrigerator? Uh, surprisingly, it was a lot of pastas because dried pasta, I had like some that expired like from a year ago. And like, that was really surprising because I forgot it, like my family forgot about it. And um, we knew, like we felt we bought it recently, but it was, we actually bought it like a long time ago, like perhaps like one or two years ago. And yeah, that was really surprising. And like, I found out that you can actually discover stuff that you bought like a long time ago. It was definitely a problem that I didn't um, immediately recognize, like a big problem that a lot of people know of, but it was just something that I just thought of like one day when I was thinking outside the box and like not really of the, like the big issues that can be addressed, but like also like the smaller ones that are still important and out there and can also help like fuel and also help solve and help bigger issues such as like world hunger and yeah, it would yeah. definitely help them in a way. Yeah. Well, Cindy, thank you so much. It was a delight to talk with you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.